O Canada, outer home and native land, true patriot love in all my sons. First, do that ever. Greetings, sir. Happy Canada Day. How may I? Oh, come on. Not this again. Were you expecting someone else? Well, yes. I was expecting the cheese robot to deliver a shipment of cheese. Ha. Huh. I knew it. I knew the shoe store sold cheeseburgers. No, we are making shoes out of cheese. Moldy cheese, at that, the kind with the horrible scent that fills your lungs and instantly gives you super lung cancer before you die from toxic shock. The only death that's even possibly worse than this is using used toilet paper from a gas station washroom and contracting flesh-eating disease from it that destroys your balls. I... see. Do you have the cheese here yet? No, it must have been delayed. Though the Canada Day celebration robot dropped by an hour ago and left us all kinds of Canadian things. Mostly shoes, but a few other things as well. Okay, like what? Well, we have the usual. 147 shots of maple syrup to celebrate Canada's birthday, though it'll give you super diabetes. We have a free ticket to play in a hockey game against polar bears for the Stanley Cup. The Los Angeles Kings didn't actually win the Stanley Cup this year, as every year the Canadian polar bears steal the cup and parade it around the icy Canadian North for themselves. Finally, we the Canadian robot. He is very Canadian. I shall demonstrate. Blunt salutations to you, dear sir. I dare say the weather is very cold out, eh? I wish the weather would actually warm up and see warm higher than minus 40 degrees Celsius. How about that hockey game? I wanted my team to win, but the other team emerged victorious. Such is life, eh? If you'll excuse me, I must ride my sled dog carriage to work, and then I'll ride my polar bear home to ride it up in the Yukon. Farewell, dear sir, and please save some maple syrup bacon for me. It's good, eh? Well then, that was strange. How about an American robot for the upcoming Independence Day? Sorry, we don't carry American things here. You'll have to go across the street to the dishwasher store for all your American needs. Right oh then. That's where I got my shotgun, anyway. Oh fuck. Scotty, what do you want? I want a bologna sandwich. I got one from the dishwasher store. The sandwich tasted like detergent and soap and chemicals. <laughs> Stop eating so many goddamn bologna sandwiches. Actually, while you're here, why don't you go into the back? We have bologna sandwich flavored maple syrup shots for you. <laughs> Give me my bologna shots now, 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 now! Wait, those shots aren't made. Shut up. Is this supposed to taste like? And he's out. That was interesting. Well, what now? I must depart. The first polar bear division of the Canadian Armed Forces is planning a surprise invasion of the United States. We will strike on all fronts, bribing enemies with bacon and maple syrup, crushing enemy morale by replaying the 2010 gold medal game between Canada and the US, and then, we shall overwhelm them with our politeness, while we replace Congress and the Supreme Court with tacos and finally I declare myself President of the United Sams of America. So basically, a Friday night plan after too much beer? Pretty much. Mind, if I blow up the shoe store now? Sure. Wait, no 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 no- Happy Canada Day. Don't sing the national anthem in awful duets.